In the phase three Destiny Breast 6 study, patients with hormone receptor positive metastatic breast cancer, both HER2 low and HER2 ultra low, were randomized to receive TDXT versus chemotherapy of physician's choice. This trial included patients who had rapid disease progression on first line endocrine based therapy. And in this subgroup, you could see that TDXT was, su was superior to standard chemotherapy with a hazard ratio of close to 0.38, uh, median progression-free survival of more than 12 months. It likely works in this setting because it defines a subgroup of tumors that is rapidly growing, that is endocrine resistant, and TDXT, as long as it binds to HER2, can deliver the payload and thus works in this setting. In Destiny Breast 6, TDXT worked regardless of prior duration of CDK4-6 inhibitors. So patients who had rapid disease progression versus patients who did not have rapid disease progression on first-line therapy in both these subgroups, TDXT was effective and was superior to standard chemotherapy. It just highlights the activity of this agent. TDXT common side effects to be aware of include nausea, include myelosuppression and rare but serious side effect of pneumonitis and that was seen in Destiny Breast 6 clinical trial as well, similar to what has been seen with other studies. Destiny Breast 6 established two concepts related to TDXT. The first, that it works in early lines, even in patients who've not received standard chemotherapy and it's superior to other chemotherapy agents like taxanes and capecitabine. And the second is it works even in HER2 ultra low metastatic breast cancer besides HER2 low. So as long as there's some HER2 expression, TDXT can bind to the tumor, deliver payload, and have efficacy in that setting. We often say in the metastatic breast cancer setting, disease control can provide good palliation, can improve quality of life, because if you control the disease, by controlling the disease, you can improve quality of life. And with TDXT, the response rate was more than 50% in metastatic breast cancer. And thus, by controlling the disease, it can uh, control or delay deterioration in quality of life.